Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sci-Fi Crate modeling tutorial. This is part two, and in this lesson we're going to continue on modeling our Sci-Fi Crate. Okay, so now we're just going to add some extra detail at the bottom. So tab to go into edit mode, three to select faces, left click this face, hold down control, left click this face, press I to inset, press I again, hold down control, and just push it up. So now let's press 2 to go to edge select, select these edges at the corner, holding down shift, and we'll just scale it in the Y. Okay, so now we want to add handles to the side and to the front. So let's add it to the front first. Select the object, tab to go into edit mode, 3 to select faces, we'll select this face, Shift S to go into snapping, cursor to selected, tab out, Shift A, mesh, and we'll add a cube. We'll scale it down, scale in the Y, so S, Y, we'll move it forward, so G, Y, and then we'll move it to the side, G, X, over there. And we'll scale in the X as well, a little bit. So S, X. So I'm going to press Tab to go into Edit Mode. 2 to go to Edge, Select. Select these two edges. Scale in the Z. So S, Z. And I'm going to select this edge and just push it back. So G, Y. So tab to get out of edit mode. I want to duplicate this part to the other side. I want the origin to be where the 3D cursor is, which is in the middle. Select the object, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Go to modifier tab, add modifier, mirror. You can see it's already mirrored. Okay, so now to add the strap, I'm going to use existing geometry to add the strap. So I'm going to select this tab to go into edit mode. 3 to select faces, select this face, shift D to duplicate, and I'm going to right click to cancel it. But when you right click to cancel, the face is still duplicated, it just moves back to its original spot. So with that face selected, I'm going to press P to separate by selection. So now if I press tab again, you can see that I've got two separate objects. So now I'm going to select this one, and because I duplicated a mirrored object, the mirror also transfers over. So I'm going to select this object, I'm gonna press tab, select the face, I'm gonna press S to scale it just a bit. And now, if I press E to extrude, you can see that it's currently intersecting with the mirror. I don't want that. So I'm gonna control Z and I'm gonna tick clipping. So now, if I press E, it doesn't intersect with the face anymore. So we currently have a face inside here. If I press Alt Z for X ray, you can see there's a face inside. We don't want that. So select that face, X, delete face. And then Alt Z to exit X ray mode. I'm gonna press Tab. And I don't want this mirror anymore, so I'm just gonna apply it. Over here where the arrow is, I'm gonna apply the mirror. I'm gonna press Tab to go into edit mode, and I want this strap to be pulled out a bit. So I'm gonna select this loop of edges, 2 to go to edge mode. I'm gonna hold down Alt and left click select the entire loop and I'm gonna bevel it with Control B. Now before I left click I want to use the scroll wheel to add more edge loops. So I'm gonna add about six edge loops so right about there. So now I'm gonna again select this loop of edges holding down Alt left click and I'm gonna turn on proportional editing. So you can see the shortcut here is the O key. I'm gonna change the fall off to spear because I want it to be rounded. So now, if I press G, Z, you can see that this entire thing is all moving together. And you can use the scroll wheel to affect the radius that's being affected. So I want this whole thing, or most of it anyway, to be pulled out. So about here, I'm just gonna pull it out a bit. So something like that. So tab to exit edit mode. We can see all of the jagged faces here. So I just wanna Right click, Shade Smooth, and then over here, Object Data Properties, I want to click Auto Smooth. 
So I also want to add handles on both sides over here. So click this object, tab, edit mode, three, select this face, shift S, cursor to selected, gonna tab out, shift A, I'm gonna add a cylinder. So 32 sides is too much for a small object like this. So I'm gonna change this to about 16. So I'm gonna press R, Y to rotate on the Y axis. I'm gonna type in 90, press enter. I'm gonna scale it down with S. And I'm just gonna bring it out, G, X, so I can edit it. And then R, Z, 90, and then press enter. I'm also gonna scale it in the Y, so S, Y. Something like that. So now what I'm gonna do is, I want this edge to be flat. So I'm gonna press one on the number pad to go into front mode. Alt Z, the X-ray, tab, press one to go to vertices mode. I'm gonna select these vertices over here. I'm gonna press S to scale. I wanna scale it in the X. And then I wanna press zero, press enter. And see now I've got a flat edge here. Now I want these to line up with these vertices over here. I'm just gonna select these ones, make sure that the snapping mode is in vertex. So select these ones, G, Z, hold down control, make sure that snaps to this one. G, Z, hold down control, make sure that it snaps to this one. Alt Z, and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna press two for edge mode, and then just select these edges, holding down shift, press X, and then instead of deleting the edges, because that'll just create a hole over here, I actually wanna dissolve the edges. So for press X, down here, dissolve edges. That way I still get to keep this face. So I wanna press tab, select this, G, X, put it around here somewhere. And then GY to move it around here. And then GZ to move it up a bit. And then scale it a bit. And then just move it in. I'm also gonna shade smooth. So right click, shade smooth, and then Object data properties, auto smooth. You might also just pull this in just a bit. So one on the numpad to go to front mode. Alt Z for X-ray. Tab. Press one. I'm gonna select all these vertices. G X just to pull it in. About maybe here. Tab. Alt Z. Now I want this handle to go something like this. And I want this to be on the other side. And you can see the 3D cursor is in the middle. So that's pretty convenient. So I'm gonna click this one, set origin to 3D cursor. Then I'm gonna go to modifiers tab, add modifier, mirror. And I wanna mirror it on the Y, not the X. So turn off X, turn on Y. You can see that it hasn't worked. That's because we have to apply our rotation. So control A and apply our rotation. And you can see that it works now. There's also some jagged edges here and that could be because we have to apply our scale as well. So control A, apply, scale. And that fixed it. So for this handle shape, we're gonna add a curve. So 3D cursor's in the right place. Shift A, instead of mesh, we want a curve. Nerves curve. So I want to rotate it in the Z, so R, Z, 90, or in this case, negative 90, enter. So I'm first gonna select this curve, going to the curve object properties over here. I wanna to go to geometry, and I wanna add some depth to this. So just go something like this. I also wanna to go to active spline, and turn on 
endpoint. And then that way, the cylinder will go all the way to the end, which is what we want. Now I just want to rotate this curve on the Y. So R, Y, 90, enter, G, X to pull it out. So I want to press tab to go to edit mode. I want to select this curve. I want to snap this curve to this face. So right now we're snapping to vertices. We want to snap it to face. So if I select this, G, hold down control, and I can snap it to this face over here. Same with this one. G, snap it to this face. These vertices, I just want to scale it down, move them up. So they're around about here. Now I want to go into side view mode, press three on the number pad. So I need some more points now so I can properly move this into place. So I'm going to select these two vertices over here, right click, subdivide. Select these two, right click, and subdivide. I'm going to select these two new points in the middle, S to scale in, G, Z to move it up. I'm just trying to make this kind of a shape. S, Y to scale it in the Y. Select these two, G, Z to move it up just a bit, S, Y just to scale it out. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with, with something like that. I'm going to make it slightly higher. So press A to select everything. G, Z to move it up. Round about here. I'm going to make it slightly thicker down to where it says geometry. Depth. I'm going to make it slightly thicker. Maybe something like 0 0.04. Tab to get out of edit mode. I'm going to select these. Tab. I'm going to press A to select everything. I'm just going to scale these down a bit. So I'm going to select this one. And if you go up here, where it says shape, resolution preview, you can see if you lower it, it lowers the amount of geometry. So depending on whether you want this to be low poly or not, you can modify it just a bit, maybe to something like six, or I think eight's fine. And I just want to pull these in just so it's intersecting with these. So tab, select these ones, S, Y, right now this isn't a proper mesh it's still a NURBS curve we want to convert this into a proper mesh so select this go to object convert and mesh from curve because we want to convert this into a mesh from a curve so right now if we press edit you can see that now we have proper polygons so if we want these parts over here to mirror to this side we can actually select this mesh, tab three to select faces, select this face, shift to select this face, shift S to go into snapping, cursor to selected, and right now this cursor is between these two faces. So tab to get out of that. So now if I select these and mirror on the Z as well, you can see, well, I have to change the origin as well. Set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now that's mirrored on these sides and on this side as well. Just want to select this, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, modify tab, add modifier, mirror. We want to mirror it on the X. You can see it's messed up. We just need to apply the rotation. So control A, apply rotation. And now it's mirrored on the other side. So the final object that we have to model is pretty easy. It's just the latches that go over here. So just to make things easier, we're gonna use existing geometry, duplicate it, and then separate it to create the geometry over here. Select this object, tab to go into edit mode, three for face mode, select this face, shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel, P for separate. We want to separate by selection, tab, and you can see that these are both separated now. So I want to select this one, tab, two, edge select, select this edge, G, Z, 
gonna pull it up a bit. Select this one. GZ, pull it up a bit. Three, select face. I'm gonna press E to extrude it out. E to extrude it out again. Two, to select edges. Select this edge, this edge, and scale on Z. Something like that. Now we just wanna mirror this to the other side. So select, well, it's, it's already centered, so. I'm gonna select this mesh, right click, set origin to 3D cursor, add modifier, mirror. Hope you guys are having fun with the tutorial. In the next video, part three, we're gonna finish off our crate modeling by adding bevels and UV unwrapping. I'll see you guys then.